Welcome back now with the kids on summer holidays. I know, it's great, isn't it? Great Lots of parents are wondering how to keep our little ones occupied. Yes, we're looking at some arts and crafts this morning that <clears> might <throat> help on those rainy days a little. Vanessa Scott Hayward joins us. Vanessa, you have lots of props and ideas I here that indeed. my children would yes. love. I'm sure yours would too. <laughs> there would be some mess. Where, yes. where do we start? Well, we're going to start with some mono printing this morning and you are going to do this project and okay. I'm going to teach you how to do it. Okay. Um, mono printing is a really simple project and it only needs a couple of materials and they're mostly things you might have in your house anyway. So we have... So what's mono printing? Mono printing, it's a form of printing, so it's like printmaking, okay. but it's mono, which is once. So you just do it, you paint out your paint and then it only makes one piece of art. So okay. it's a once off and that's okay. why it's called mono printing. Very good, okay. okay. So you need the cotton bud, okay. you need a no plastic, a plastic surface. Once it's a flat plastic surface, I've given you a vegetable tray oh, here. Oh, I'm doing it well. Yes. Oh, I <laughs> and some acrylic paint. So the right. thicker the paint, the better, because if it's too thin, it won't work as well. And you only want a small little bit of paint. So if you're doing it with young kids, put the paint out for them. Otherwise, otherwise they'll the whole thing. thing. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So control less is definitely this more is handy, of this though, project. Isn't it? Just a little perspex. Yeah, and sheet. this is actually from like a cheap frame picture frame I picked up okay. in a shop and you just I just cut it to size and so it works. So what are we gonna do? You're gonna get your paintbrush and yes. you're gonna paint it out. So just paint out all over the surface there. Just spread out the paint. Spread out the paint. We're finished yet though. <laughs> do you have to cover the entire area? Yes, that would be good. See? Okay. Excellent work. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough paint. Do I? Don't you're fine. Oh, Honestly, with this, you don't, you don't want too much paint because if you have too much, then your design it's gonna. Um, yes, exactly. I was just gonna say that. Yeah. Oh, you're not finished though. No. No. <laughs> That's okay. perfect. I'm so you make it too pop perfect, your brushes into the water. And then you're going to get your cotton bud. And this is where you draw your design. So if you think your cotton bud is just like a pencil, um, stick with shapes, letters, you have to do mirror writing. So, so especially, that's more so yeah, it's more complex. It shows shapes. So pick any oh, shape you want. So many like I did, <laughs> I did like summer sunshine. That's clever some hearts like nice and simple and you want to make sure okay. that you do gaps between your um between oh, your shapes yeah, yeah, as well yeah, yeah. otherwise it all blends it together all blends. Okay, yeah so not any thing. small okay. detail you want to do the hearts you? i'll do the hearts you you're do not going to do something original now no hearts are original yeah. go on you do something original then. let's see Probably what you nothing. create <laughs> <laughs> this is hard <laughs> <laughs> Well, you did get the tray, which is slightly harder because it's not a flat surface. Well, thank you for that, Vanessa. Oh, please. And then just make sure, so here, like you're just going over. So the line is really clear. Yeah, really clear line. So can I see your sign? You can, look. Oh, that's very good. Oh, well, thank, thank you. Well, very good. Tray. Thank you. Top of the class. <laughs> so original. <laughs> and do you want to add <laughs> some more to the other <laughs> side? So look go over the it's edges. It's a tree! Yeah. The clearer, the better. Okay. Are you just going so to stick I'm with going, your oh, parts? I'm going over the parts. lines, as you said, Vanessa, to make it really clear. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Did you go over yours? I didn't need to because I did it right the first time. Oh, of course you did, okay. According to our uh, experts. <laughs> experts, experts, okay. No, that looks really That's... good. Yeah, perfect. And you can see here, that it's because you can kind of almost see through the surface, you know that's enough paint. If you couldn't see behind, you need then you'd the know area. that you've got a little bit too much paint on and just to leave it to dry for a little bit. Okay. Um, but also on the other side, don't take too long in your design <clears> because <throat> the paint will end up drying out. Okay. So the next step is you're going to get your piece of paper. So yes. if you're doing it with a tray, just make sure the paper is cut to size and you're going to put it down. now. For this step, you put it down nice and gently because you don't want it to smudge the design and then you just tap it down like that. Okay, so you don't press. You don't press because if you press, you're likely to kind of push it across. So just start tapping it down. Nice and gentle and then now, nice Simon. And gently. Yes, mother. No heavy hands. Yes, mother. I was in the printing trade. Kind hands, isn't that what Did they you know say I was in my in son's class? I printing trade for years. Were you really? Yeah, my father was a printer. Oh, yeah, and my uncles were. surprises us <laughs> with these well, alternative like. Yeah, my father and my uncles were all printers. And really? I, yeah, it was the first job I ever had was a printer. Well, I wasn't a printer, I was on a machine. Loading no. paper, very glamorous. Very glam. I could do an hour on it, will I? No, OK, we'll move on. <laughs> no, <laughs> we don't want to lose every nah. viewer we have this morning. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so then if I can just have a look at yours here. Uh, so then oh, you well, start to... A bit, yes, but that's fumbling. part of the effect, isn't it, Vanessa? Yeah, yeah we're going to have a you textured see? effect. A textured effect, thank you. Um, this is model printing level two. You're still on 101 here, <laughs> OK? I'm on 1A. Yeah. Right. Now, 
So mm. then it's time for the grand reveal, and this is where you hope it works out. Okay. Oh, oh, no, so I'll let you guys do no, it. No so just get the corner of your page and pull it up gently. It's like a Van Gogh. Woo! Well done. What's that supposed to be? To reveal be? your designs. Oh, that's uh, nice. Look. So we now, can show viewers better? at home. Hold <laughs> well on. Which one's better? Okay, there's mine. I think yours is more impressionist. Where well, I'm more, it's a realism kind of thing. <laughs> yours is more rustic. <laughs> I think so, yeah, yeah. But you can see mine on the, on the on the chocolate That's good fun, cover. though. I can see how children Yeah, and there. honestly, it's once fun. kids know how to do it, they'll just go on and on and create more and yeah. more. And it's something that you can leave the kids doing by and themselves. And if they want to go on and do their own names, only you have to do it backwards and Backwards, and yeah, exactly. And and what you can do is get um, put it up to a window and just trace out the name, and then you just turn it over and you have the mirror writing. Okay. So if you're doing it on a plastic sheet, you can just have it underneath. And, and then they through. can just copy it through. What's next? So next up is... We just filed this. Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Move this to the side. Thank you, lovely. So next up, we're going to make some peg creatures. This is a really great, like, rainy day project, afternoon project. And it's great for younger kids. They can make them oh, they for... Make them talk, look. Yeah, they can make them so. talk. So you can have, like, storytelling time. They can do characters of books or films or reading, anything like that. It's a Pac-Man. So, Pac-Man. Yeah. Yes, it is. It yeah. is a Pac-Man. Mine is so, fun as well that now. So the tools required for this... The tools the are a timber peg, some card and some markers. Again, super simple. You're going to have them at home. Um, timber pegs, you want to use timber because otherwise the glue won't stick to it. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to do is you get your piece of card and you make your circle. I'm going to use salad tape just to trace around it because then you get a circle. The only thing with the circle is you just need to make sure that the circle is, if I can just get that peg mm -hmm. there, is the length or Very longer good. than your peg. Okay. So you cut out your circle like that and then you're going to fold it in half and then you have, so at that halfway line is where you're going to have the split. mouth open up and you can draw. So I'm just going to do a really, really simple one here. You can get as here. creative as you like with Oh, this. totally, yeah. You can, can um, they could make it something, a character. They can make a character from their own imagination. They could, like, think of a whole story behind it. If you've got Very a good. play date, yeah. doing kids' parties during the summer, yeah, this would be brilliant. We're killed for time, for, Vanessa. Yeah, of course. So, so we got to make our Pac-Mans quickly here, honey boy. So, cut it in half. So here's one I've done earlier. Brilliant. Then you have little strips of card that you stick down to your peg. So just fold it over, stuck down. And here they are here. Touches done. Touches the back of our armor. Touches there. Then you just get some glue. Oh, my um, God. Oh, this is where it gets messy. Yeah. Put a bit of glue down here. And then you're going to... Making sure that you're sticking Milk the mouth, mouth. Yeah. on the, the right going way. the right direction. Exactly. My lads would love that. They and would then actually. They would. And the supplies that you need are fairly basic. Up. Really basic. Again, I've kept it really simple. Where's the best place to pick up all these bits and bobs? <sighs> Supermarkets, your local art supply store. Honestly, like most art supply stores are going to have something like yeah. that. Marvellous. Thank Brilliant. you, Vanessa. Thank you, Vanessa. Oh, that's, that's it. Good fun.